This is Kick hopping on the mic. We got Droopy against Hungry Headcrab here. Hungry Headcrab going Falco and uh, Droopy with the Sheik. Seems like Hungry Headcrab is taking a pretty big lead right off the start. Um, but now he's, ooh, he uses the uh, down B shine to get out of that chain grab. Important, it's important work to put in as a space animal. And that's one of the best tools, honestly, to get out of the chain grabs because if they're not frame perfect or they're not catching you before you actually get out of the tech roll or out of your get up option, then um, oh, yeah. you have, all you need is that one frame. Yeah, he gets impressive from Headcrab doing the dumpster on the ledge. Yeah, I, I'm kind of surprised he's playing Falco. I guess he's just decided he wants to win melee now that uh, he's training at the Tuck. Yeah, well, yeah, I, everyone at the Tuck is a melee player, so like he <laughs> he would feel super lonely if he's still just playing PM. So, but even Ganon, yeah, yeah. Well, at a certain point, like. You know, I'm trying to make <clears throat> melee Bowser work a little bit, but I also recognize that when you break it down, like certain just certain characters in melee are just gonna be better than others, and someone some of them just feel better in melee than they do in uh, Project M. So, like in particular, I'm really digging on Marth when I'm playing melee now. Like, um, I really like his combo game. I really like what he can set up and what he's doing. But wow, almost getting him with that up air. I think he should have back air and I'm like, Ugh, crushes him with that forward smash. Um, as I was saying, Marth, there's, there's so much that goes into Marth uh, now that I know a little bit more about him and played with him a bit and used his combo game a little bit more efficiently than I used to. And um, it's, it's pretty interesting. And so, like, you know, I'm a yeah, Bowser player, but I'll, I'll play Marth, I'll play Sheik, I'll play these other characters. Oh, yeah. If I want to win, if I want to play this tournament game, if I want to push myself. Watching Headcrab play Falco, it, it is very noticeable that he used to play Ganon. He just chooses really good spacing, mm -hmm. super slow play as a Falco, which you don't see too much. Not a huge emphasis on shine yeah. either. Yeah. He's mostly just coming in with those aerials. Which I can appreciate as a new Fal Falco doing that. Yeah. He's also he's really. still doing it smart. He's really eager with those forward smashes. He's tossing it out a lot more than. <clears throat> the average Falco. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Slow reaction from the shine there. Um, you can you can see that he's definitely not a true Falco main, but uh, he's he's doing some work. He's doing some work. He, he's learning. Yeah. He's he's learning the Falco. Yeah. Maybe eventually he'll learn how to laser a bit more, and then he'll learn how to shine. And it's all, it's get all out of these chain grabs! <laughs> like holy crap! Do That's something, please. <laughs> Oh, and he needs to stop coming up. Uh, yeah, there's the Ganondorf in him right yeah, there. He's, he's trying to check the platform with up there, but he's playing Falco. Can't be doing that. <laughs> oh, man. Well, still using side B to recover that way. Yeah. Very good side B. So. Yeah, he's super eager with his smash attacks in general. Uh, forward smash, down smash. Like, he's super eager to get those rather than taking, like, Shine, which would generally be a better option, and he does the Falco dive. Straight off that ledge, he's losing the stock. Get up attack, clashing with the up B. That's like, is that because it has super low priority? I need to know why that happens, but it, it makes that move really bad. Sheik's up B. Oh, yeah. Hello, Wavern. Yes, we are ready. Wavern's actually in the audience and in the tournament right now, too. My goodness. <laughs> What a contributor. He is he does a good Trying job. to get him with a side B there. There was another kind of like Oh wow, the turnaround to get the grab on the ledge. Interesting. I love that. That's, that's the true sneak. That's where you just like oh, no, I just grabbed it from you. That just shows the type of player Brandon is where he's just yeah. out thinking the opponent all the time instead yeah. of having to just do super hard tech. Yeah. He's staying on top of their movement rather than like Worrying on top about of what own. their character <laughs> is doing, yeah. Gets caught with a sick forward tilt to forward air. Super hard to do. But no, no, he missed the tech right there, so uh, definitely needs to get punished. Ooh, I think he was going to get ledge there, trying to read that uh, Brandon was going to jump up and do something else. Or. And they're going to battle. Amrit really powered up over the past couple of months, so I'm always happy to see Amrit and see what he's doing new. And I think he's not going to school now, so he's really focusing on the game and taking 
thing I used to do. Well, that's good.